The deepest we have ever gazed into the sun. SDO The sun, our celestial powerhouse, has long captivated the curiosity of scientists and astronomers. Its dazzling light and immense heat have fueled human imagination for centuries. But it is in only recent years that we have managed to delve into its mysteries with unprecedented precision. Among the various missions dedicated to studying it, the Solar Dynamics Observatory SDO stands out. This mission allowed us to peer into the sunlit heart of our solar system in ways never before imagined. This is the deepest we have ever seen into the sun. SDO and the Solar Corona The sun is like a giant ball of fire in the sky, right? But did you know it has layers like a big burning onion? With its X-ray vision, Solar Dynamics Observatory helps us see through those layers to understand what's happening inside. It was launched by NASA and equipped with advanced instruments and cutting-edge technology. It has been a game-changer in solar observation, revealing intricate details of its complex structure. Firstly, SDO checks out the sun's outer layer called the corona. It's this wild, glowing aura around the sun that you can only usually see with your naked eye during a solar eclipse. The corona is the sun's halo and it's super hot, even hotter than the sun's surface. Scientists are still figuring out why and SDO is helping them solve this mystery. X-rays are part of the extreme ultraviolet region of the electromagnetic spectrum. This is the region where SDO looks into. This choice of wavelength is crucial because the corona emits most of its radiation in this range, providing a clearer view of its intricate dynamics. Observations of the solar corona might yield groundbreaking findings in the near future. You see, the sun's surface or photosphere has temperatures in the range of thousands of degrees, while the corona, just above it, is inexplicably much hotter, reaching temperatures in the millions of degrees. This stark temperature difference has long puzzled scientists, so much that they call it the coronal heating problem. Despite decades of diligent research and numerous proposed solutions, the so-called coronal heating problem remains an enigmatic frontier in solar physics, waiting to be unveiled by SDO. SDO and Solar Filaments But this is not it. Adding to the solar corona, there are gigantic, twisty magnetic threads reaching out from the sun. SDO captured these on camera and they look like the sun's hair blowing in the solar wind. Sometimes these threads erupt into space creating dazzling shows called solar storms. But what exactly are they? They stand by the name of solar filaments and are magnificent structures composed of relatively cool and dense plasma suspended in the sun's environment. These can be observed against the solar disk, creating striking visual patterns. What not everybody knows is that the creation of solar filaments is intimately tied to the sun's complex and dynamic magnetic activity. The sun's surface is a bubbling cauldron of magnetic fields, with regions of intense magnetic activity and twisting magnetic loops. When these loops become tangled and stressed, that's when a filament is born. The magnetic field lines act as a scaffolding, holding cool, dense plasma in place, creating the dark thread seen against the solar surface. Solar filaments can take different forms, including quiescent filaments that are stable and long-lasting, and eruptive filaments that undergo sudden and dramatic releases of energy. The latter can lead to solar flares or coronal mass ejection CMEs, which are powerful and potentially disruptive solar events potentially hazardous events that might affect the life on Earth. SDO and the Solar Transition Region Then there's the Transition Region, a spacey bridge between the sun's surface and its outer layers. SDO helps us explore this mysterious zone where things start getting crazy hot. It's like the sun's own magic doorway, and SDO is the key to unlocking its secrets. The Transition Region serves as a delicate and irregular boundary within the sun's atmosphere, acting as the separator between the scorching corona and the considerably cooler chromosphere. In this narrow expanse, heat cascades from the corona to the chromosphere, creating a distinctive layer where temperatures undergo a rapid transformation. Plummeting from a searing 1 million degrees Celsius or 1.8 million degrees Fahrenheit, 
to approximately 20,000 degrees Celsius or 40,000 degrees Fahrenheit. At these elevated temperatures, hydrogen undergoes ionization, rendering it challenging to detect. Instead, the emitted light within the transition region predominantly originates from ions such as carbon, oxygen, and silicon, each stripped of three electrons. This emitted light falls within the ultraviolet spectrum, accessible only from the vantage point of space. Understanding the Sun's transition region, the delicate interface between the scorching corona and the cooler chromosphere, is a key frontier in solar physics. Why, you may ask? Well, the transition region acts as a conduit for energy transport from the corona to the chromosphere. Investigating the mechanisms behind this process provides fundamental insights into the overall dynamics of the Sun's atmosphere, particularly regarding the enigmatic heating of different layers. Moreover, emitting light primarily in the ultraviolet spectrum, the transition region holds a treasure trove of information about its chemical composition and physical conditions. The Solar Dynamics Observatory, equipped with advanced instruments, plays a pivotal role in capturing and analyzing this ultraviolet emission with unprecedented detail. SDO boasting instruments like the Atmospheric Imaging Assembly AIA, Extreme Ultraviolet Variability Experiment EVE, and Helio Seismic and Magnetic Imager HMI, emerges as a cornerstone in the study of the transition region. Its high-resolution imaging, spectral observations, and continuous monitoring capabilities offer a unique vantage point to unravel the dynamic nature of this crucial solar layer. Hey, before moving on, be sure to like or dislike the video so that we can improve it for you, the viewer. Plus, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by making sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our daily videos. SDO and the Sun's Photosphere Now let's talk about the Sun's visible surface, the photosphere. It's like the Sun's skin and guess what SDO does? It takes super-duper close-up shots of sunspots, which are like the sun's freckles, but way cooler. These spots are magnets on the sun, and they can even affect our gadgets on Earth. Thanks to SDO, we know more about these sunspots and how they behave. The photosphere is the sun's outermost layer visible to the naked eye, a thin sheath where light escapes, radiating into space and bathing our solar system in warmth. This luminous layer is not exclusive to our sun. Indeed, every star possesses its own unique photosphere, akin to an individualized outer garment that reflects the star's personality and characteristics. Consider the blue brilliance of Sirius, the brightest star in Earth's night sky, signifying a photosphere hotter than our Sun. In contrast, Betelgeuse, a red supergiant, boasts a cooler and redder photosphere, presenting a visual spectacle in the constellation Orion. Each star's photosphere, characterized by its temperature and color, contributes to the diverse cosmic tapestry that adorns our night sky. Understanding the photosphere is paramount to unraveling the sun's energy generation, magnetic activity, and its influence on the entire solar system. Photons generated within the photosphere embark on an incredible journey. As they escape the sun, they traverse the vast expanse of space, reaching Earth in a matter of minutes. Yet the photon's origin story is far more intriguing. Born in the sun's core through processes taking thousands of years, they undergo a randomized journey bouncing through layers of the sun before finally emerging from the photosphere. Thus, when we gaze at the sun, we're not just witnessing the present, but peering into a past marked by millennia of photon meandering. The sun's photosphere is adorned with a myriad of captivating features, each contributing to its dynamic nature. Sunspots, cooler and darker regions, mark areas of intense magnetic activity. These spots come and go in cycles, influencing the sun's overall brightness. Granules, like bubbling cauldrons on the sun's surface, represent convective cells where hot plasma rises, cools, and sinks back into the interior. These granular structures are crucial for understanding the energy transport mechanisms within the photosphere. Magnetic fields play a pivotal role in shaping the photosphere's behavior. Sunspots are often associated with strong magnetic fields, influencing the surrounding plasma and contributing to the ebb and flow of solar activity. Now allow me to show you an incredible video. For seven days from November 13th to November 19th, 2020, SDO's instruments watched as a small sunspot group morphed, 
merged and grew into two large sunspots. As other sunspots begin to emerge as well, astronomers selected an image about every 15 minutes, approximately 700 frames, to generate the smooth motion seen in this 26-second movie. SDO and the Sun's Scorching Core At the heart of the Sun resides its core, the pulsating engine that propels the solar symphony. It's here amidst temperatures exceeding 15 million degrees Kelvin that the Sun unveils its radiant secret. This blazing core, though hidden from our direct view, bathes the cosmos in a constant flow of energy, sustaining the delicate equilibrium of life on our planet. Fortunately, the Sun's energy output remains remarkably stable, providing the Earth with a steady source of light and warmth. The exploration of the Sun's core is not merely a scientific endeavor but a historical odyssey that spans centuries. The journey began with the pioneering work of early astronomers like Galileo and Johannes Kepler, who laid the foundation for our understanding of the solar system. However, the inner workings of the Sun's core remain veiled in mystery until the advent of nuclear physics in the early 20th century. The breakthrough came with the realization that the Sun's energy arises from nuclear fusion, a concept born from the genius of scientists like Hans Bethe. Bethe's groundbreaking work in the 1930s and 40s elucidated the intricate dance of protons, unveiling the celestial alchemy that powers the Sun. This revelation marked a turning point, allowing humanity to peer into the core's brilliance and decipher the fundamental processes that shape our star. Within every sun's core, a cosmic ballet unfolds, where the forces of pressure and gravity engage in an internal dance of balance. The core's intense heat prevents electrons from binding to atomic nuclei, creating a state of matter known as plasma. This seething plasma, comprising positively charged nuclei and negatively charged electrons, move in a dance of chaos, defining the conventional order of atomic structures. Amidst this cosmic dance, the majority of nuclei are hydrogen protons, with helium nuclei following closely. The nuclear binding force, a formidable entity that transcends electric fields, keeps the helium nuclei bound tightly together. The relentless push and pull of electric repulsion and nuclear binding force create an intricate cosmic equilibrium. As protons whiz through the core's searing heat, occasional encounters lead to a momentous cosmic event, nuclear fusion. The nuclear binding force triumphs over electric repulsion, uniting protons into helium nuclei. In this celestial alchemy, energy is released, a testament to the profound binding force that governs the heart of our Sun. This continuous fusion of protons into helium nuclei acts as the cosmic engine, releasing energy in the form of light and heat. It is the harmonious fusion of particles, an intricate choreography orchestrated by the cosmic forces at play, that fuels the sun's brilliance and illuminates the vast reaches of space. In this process of fusing hydrogen to form helium, the nuclear reactions happening in the core produce elementary particles called neutrinos. These elusive particles pass right through the overlying layers of the sun and with some effort can be detected here on Earth. The number of neutrinos we detect is but a fraction of the number we expected. This problem of the missing neutrinos was one of the great mysteries of solar astronomy, but now appears to be solved by the discovery of neutrino masses. Not everybody knows that heat generated in the sun's core is transmitted in two ways. The radiative zone extending from the core's boundary is characterized by the transfer of energy through electromagnetic radiation. Photons generated in the core engage in a labyrinthine journey, bouncing off particles in the dense radiative zone before reaching the convective zone. The convective zone, closer to the sun's outer surface, witnesses energy transport through the physical movement of plasma. Here, hot plasma rises, cools, and descends in a dynamic dance reminiscent of bubbling cauldrons. The convective zone, marked by granules and the sun's surface features, serves as a bridge between the sun's interior and the brilliance that graces our skies. A radiant future As you can understand, missions like Solar Dynamics Observatory have ushered in a new era of solar exploration, allowing us to witness the sun's splendor with unprecedented clarity. From the ethereal corona to the dynamic solar filaments, the visible photosphere to the mysterious transition region and the hidden core. Missions like this have provided a comprehensive view of our star's multifaceted nature. 
The insights gained from SDO's observations have far-reaching implications, extending beyond the realm of astrophysics. For instance, understanding the Sun's behavior is crucial for predicting space weather events that can impact communication systems, satellites, and even power grids on Earth. The technological marvels of SDO pave the way for future missions, promising even more detailed views of the Sun and deeper insights into the fundamental processes that govern our solar system and ultimately the entire universe. As we conclude our celestial journey, feel free to share your thoughts on this video in the comments below and stay tuned for our next adventure. We'll see you soon on the channel.